Since 2017, we've been researching these authors and their stories all about the forest or set in the forest. The forest has been written about since at least the end of the 16th century. So we've got several hundred years of fantastic books and fantastic authors we want to, wanted to shout about and, and share our findings. And we've done that through online. We've created a, a website that tells the stories of these authors and their lives and their work. We've been creating films. We've been creating, especially important to us, resources for teachers and young people to engage young people in their rich literary heritage because the forest is about much, much more than its trees and its mining heritage, its sheep coming in, its flora and fauna. It's about its people, but it's also about its great literary heritage. And we want people to recognize the forest for that as well as all the other great things. So we've also commissioned two pieces of public art, one of which is behind me here. We've got two murals, one in another part of the forest, and this one here in Cinderford, celebrating authors from East Dean. Here we've got Winifred Foley, Leonard Clark and Harry Beddington, all great writers and poets and amongst their work they focused a great deal on the Forest of Dean, writing about its people and places. We've been putting on exhibitions and events in the community. We've also been working with the BBC. We've created two BBC radio serials about the forest authors, one of which was focusing specifically on the amazing female authors that have come from the Forest of Dean. Now, some of this literature is from a few hundred years ago and many of the books are out of print. So what we've done is we've drawn all the best bits, if you like, together into an anthology and we've distributed that free to every school in the Forest of Dean. So young people in the forest will be able to find out about their fantastic literary heritage. And of course, we're not just talking about books and authors from the past. We're also really interested in contemporary authors. So we've also put on events bringing contemporary authors together to talk about their work and their writing about the Forest of Dean. So all those digital and print resources we've created, they'll remain now, they'll carry on beyond the end of the Forester's Forest project. There's also loads we want to do and we want to carry on with reading the forest because there's loads more exciting things to find out and share.